Okay, welcome to Crafting with EB. So today's drawing prompt is a lamp. So this is the lamp I picked up. I thought that was the cutest. I was going between this one, this one, and actually the drawing one, but I kind of like this one the best. And I'm seeing all the shapes that I need to see in order to do it. So let's draw. moving things around. Sorry, kids. Just got to, you know, stretch my wings. So this is the practice side. This will be the finish side over here. So we're going to do the practice side first. So we got like, after today, we got one, two, three, four. Four more drawing prompts and we're done with the month. Uh, can you believe that? Four. Okay, so looking at my picture, I can see that we kind of have like, or like you got the big like rectangle here for the shade. And you got the little square here. And you kind of like have like a kind of like a triangle here. And then you have like a little, a big oval here. And then you kind of have like the little rectangle here to make your, but you know what I mean? You gotta go. And of course the shade would be bigger type deal. So let's do it a little bit smaller. glasses keep falling off my face. Oh, look at that. I'm just relying up. That looks pretty good right there. That's how I'm going to make sure it's nice and big. And see what happens when you draw with simple shapes. We'll get you something pretty. All right, let's go to it. And I actually was going to do this in watercolor, but I was like, hmm. More like a pencil. I'm doing the simple shapes first because that seemed seemed to work. It's like a big teardrop, honestly. It looks so good. So I'm going to go in a little bit more detail now. So I'm going to start with the bottom. Just kind of more outward. can get raised and it's more of a wider base and 
then you can take an eraser and kind of go over it a little bit erase out the little finer details and then you do this one big thing called <laughs> blowing <laughs> blowing it away oh, man. and then you kind of have And I go up. Well, this is more of a straight liner. Straight liner. Now you kind of have like, kind of like, you can see the back of the. I'm going to redo that line. I'm going to do the main line here. So you kind of like, got it like going up a little bit. And then you kind of got like this little thin, thin, thin. You gotta think thin, be thin. Months ago, along that back, kind of like that. I like that. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna erase lightly. Erase. Oh my god. So much particles coming up. Okay. So, moving on to our colors. Now, that lamp is like a pink and gold and then you shade it's like more like a cream i'm not sure if i want to go that route <gasps> Ooh, this color is like speaking to me but it's like barely visible so no let's see here i definitely want to do it gold so i'll definitely do the gold this one is called pot of gold yeah, definitely want to do the gold. And then I want to maybe lemon yellow. Let me see how you want. Next. Mm, yeah. Maybe like an orangish, light orange. Uh, let's try cantaloupe. Let's see. Mm. See, that's the problem, but that is a pretty color. I do that for the lamp, so mm, that'd be pretty. <sighs> Let's see, and then I need like a like a pink, then bubble gum. Ooh, that'd be pretty. That's pretty right next to it. Um. Let's see. Ooh, a plum. Let's see. I just want to see the color. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a brown. Some of these don't come out too pretty on... Ooh, this might be nice next to it. A peach. Just to give it the shine. That might be pretty with the gold. And then I want to... What else do I need? I'm gonna leave the shade just the neutral color here. Um, hmm. Maybe like an almond, maybe? <gasps> Ooh, that might be. To get it. Yeah, to go over it, do a lightly colored. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me test that out. 
Let me test that out. Do, do, do. And nothing's happening. But we're going to put that. Oh, that might be good for the just the lampshade just to give it some texture. And maybe like a like a light, very light gray. Where's a plant now maybe? Yeah, just to give it the death a little bit. Hmm. Any other color that I want? Maybe a white to help out. Maybe with the shine. I'm just seeing if it layers. Probably doesn't. Good old Crayola. It doesn't, but I'll still leave it out. So. Alright. So, I'm on in. Okay, now I'm a little confused. Okay, yeah, these two I was leaving for the. And then the gray. Hmm. Oh, that was for the lampshade. These three for the lampshade. And then these two for the. Mm -hmm. So, I want to go. I'm going to do the. The, all the gold stuff first. It's so hard sometimes to pick out color. Sometimes it's a little, little difficult. It's almost like somebody's cutting down a tree outside. Done with you. Is this my Crayola one? Oh no, this is crazy art. Okay. And I don't care what you people say. I love the crazy art. Just getting this one fine. No, 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 scammer. I've been here all morning, and now I'm hearing it. That, that's not cool there, dude. So rude. Ooh, that's cool. Okay. I think it's arguing with me. Damn tree. Damn tree people. <laughs> Kinda not liking it now, but too late. Okay, so which one was later? Uh, Bubblegum was probably the darker one. And that's why you always use... Yep, yeah, okay, so... I love that color. This one is called Cantaloupe. Just in case you're wondering. By Crayola. I love Crayola. These are my go-to pencils, Crayola and Crazy Art. I have so much pencils from, I got like, I had to go buy new ones 
before I started this channel. Because the old ones I had, they were so old. And when they, I think when, when color pencils sit so long, the wood inside of them, I don't know what happens, but it breaks down. So... I just had to get new pencils. Probably didn't really have to, but I wanted new pencils. <laughs> and my nephew has my old ones now. And he is three. So. He don't know the difference. I told my mom, eh, he don't know the difference. Doesn't matter. She goes, well, why do I want your broken pencils? I'm like, you do for the boy. I love my nephew, even though he knows me only a little bit, not much. You don't really know me too well. Oh, I love this color. Unfortunately, my paper is like an off-white, like a cream color. So it's not like a white white. You gotta kinda layer the colors. All right, I'm done with that color. And now I have Bubble Gum by Crayola. I love the pinks. colored pencils they don't like to layer but I kind of force them to That's why I have like multiple lights on in my room to helps when you're doing the shading. Like, oh, what works better? Oh my god, and I would still love some Prismacolors color pencils. Those are like the holy grail of like color pencils. Maybe in my art boxes they might come. <sighs> yeah, it looks pretty good. I think that looks really good. So, we want to do some almond. And if you're shaking, I am so sorry right now. I'm just in the zone. Sometimes I like to talk on videos. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I need to talk more. I love getting notifications on my iPad. It just like stalls me for a second. Like, what, what, what's, it, what's going on? Cause I'm like, is this something important? Did I get mail? Cause I'm still waiting on the email, seeing if they're gonna use me as a future artist, maybe. I sent my best work as best as I can. You know what I mean? And if I ever hear back and they want to use me, I'd be like so excited. I 
And I know you probably can see like a layer here because I'm kind of going over. Same font. I don't know if I'm going to use the white. Probably not. I'm just going to go over this tint up underneath the shade because the light's not on. And then maybe do some tinting on this side. I think once I do like the color, the charcoal too a little bit. That is like annoying with the tree people. Damn tree people. I want to do a little bit of gray on here. Just a lightly tone. Layer, 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 layer. <gasps> That's the name of the game. But I think once I do, like, you know, with the charcoal, it might, you know what I mean, help it out a little bit. But it looks pretty good. I'm going to go with the charcoal now. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. So my blending stem, my 6B, and the 4B. Let's go in with the 4B. This is like a nice liner. And it doesn't like to really take, oh, I went too far down. Ah. It doesn't look, this one doesn't really like to, they don't really like to layer on top of the Crayola. Unless I can make a divot into the paper. That's okay, because I can blend you out.
And then, done with that, then. This is the more shaded side. Not so much on this side, cause the six B seems to layer a little bit better. I want to say than the four B. Okay, so I'm putting my blender stuff down. I need another cup. I wish it would just no, 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 no. Everything wants to fly out at me. <laughs> Where's the other one? Where's one? I want to fish you out. Come to me. Like everything else wants to come except the thing that I want. And I'm like, meh. meh. And I don't want to take everything out. <gasps> I think I found my old Woohoo! Found you, girl. Oh, God. All is right with the world. I like this blonde and stump a lot better. One of my favorite blenders, honestly. Blend, 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 my precious, blend. If 
Let me add some more. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, Jeff's knife's down. <laughs> I just like threw the tilly on. Uh, let me leave that sucker out. Ah, just charcoal everywhere. Ah. All right, let's nush on day. And I use colored pencil. Okay, so this is the finishing product. It's so pretty. So, if you're watching this on my Facebook and you like what I did, give me a thumbs up. And if you're watching on YouTube and you like to see more of this kind of content, because I do it kind of a lot where I change mediums, but I draw, give me a thumbs up on that you like it. And hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon so you can get up to date videos of all my content. And I seem to, uh, when I'm doing these now, I seem to, I feel like I'm getting better. You know what I mean? Depends on what I'm drawing. But I think I'm getting a little better, you know what I mean? Practice, practice, practice. That's what I'm doing. And you guys can actually see everything from start to finish and... You can draw along with me and stuff like that. So, on to the next video. The next one we're doing is salt and pepper shakers. Just to take a quick look. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do some more on the next video. So, you be safe, healthy, and I will see you then. Bye!